My concern is how to protect her from these scams. Do you have any recommendations? I installed Clean My Mac 10, ran malware scan, and nothing. Then I installed malware bytes. Nothing again. I considered limiting her to using the iPad only, but I've seen similar warning message there. Any thoughts? This is definitely one for don't get caught. And uh, Dave, before you answer, I'm going to say this falls into our show from a few weeks ago. Beware the conware. Beware the conware. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So what you're describing here, Chris, is most of it, will fall into the realm of cleverly coded pop-up windows, right? The pop-up blockers that exist in Safari get most of these, but there are definitely ways of, of coding things to get them through. It's a cat and mouse game, right? Apple puts up the walls, the coders get smart and figure it out. If only everybody used their powers for good, but we don't live in that world. Um, but there, there are other ways, um, and one of the most common ones is leveraging Safari's local notifications. Websites with permission, websites can send you notifications that appear like the native normal notifications in notification center on your Mac. And because you're used to trusting things in notification center, we are more likely to trust those things because they are in notification center. You you will be asked for permission to enable these, but that permission can also be done in a misleading way where you're like, of course I want this. And then you do it. And I've seen some of these notifications where the website will use the icon of like system settings so that you are even more likely to trust the little thing coming in to see these, to see what you've allowed on your Mac, go into Safari settings, websites, notifications. That's where you can see where these are configured. It will have a list of websites where you have either allowed or blocked for on a website by website basis. You can also set some global options. There's a checkbox, allow websites to ask for permission to send notifications. Disabling that might help. It will keep legit websites from asking too, but maybe that's okay. Um, then there is also a checkbox there for share across devices that can uh, help to, you know, kind of share those settings amongst all of your um, devices. These kinds of notifications are not possible on iPhone or iPad, to my knowledge, but hopefully somebody out there will tell me if I'm wrong. Um, another setting, that, again, that's desktop only is the pop-up Windows setting, uh, also in Safari settings websites. And it works similar to the notifications one where there's a list of, uh, websites that you can, you know, that you have either allowed or disallowed specifically, and then you get some global uh, settings as well. One of my I, favorite is the wrong word, but but one of the more the most clever implementations of malware, especially in Safari, is extensions. I have seen people with extensions installed that will that are definitely malware. Now these are things that usually I would expect like clean my Mac or, or malware bytes to catch, but you can look to again, Safari settings this time, go to extensions. This will list all of the extensions you have installed and there will be check marks by the ones that are enabled. Uh, if it, and this is worth looking at no matter whether you think you're having a problem or not, even if you're not having a problem and even if there's no malware installed, Simply knowing what extensions you have allowed in Safari can be a really helpful thing just to see and be like, oh, wait, I don't need that one anymore. Let's take that out, you know, or uh, or, oh, wait, I forgot I had this one. I should re-enable it. So, yeah, that's that's not a bad thing to take a look at, you know, every now and again. So. Right. 